Bob, stay with us. <laughs> All right. This is so cool, you guys. So this is the very first time we've ever offered anything like this. It is from Indeed, celebrated chef Wolfgang Puck. It's the outdoor wood pellet pizza oven, and it's a grill. It is a multi-purpose unit. It's one of the darn coolest things I've ever seen. You have two color choices. We've got the stainless steel, and we have that stunning black with a little bit of texture to it. You get a whole special configuration, but I gotta get chef in the shot, because right, he's I'm the man ready. of You're the now. day. Happy You're anniversary. Now. When I started Spargo, 40 years ago, I started making pizzas. Everybody said I was crazy. Yep. Guess what? Now everybody is making it, and now you can make it at home. <laughs> Wait, because you don't want to have a, a $20,000 pizza oven in your backyard. You don't <laughs> yeah. have the space, but now you have one, which does it just as well with a wood fire. Look at look, this. Look, look at here. this, you guys. Oh, this is the moment. Oh, chef, okay, this thing is brilliant. First yep. off, it's compact. It's easy to travel with. You can store it if you totally. want to. But it makes you pizzas fast. You can take it to the beach. You can take it to the mountains, wherever you want. You can roast in it. You can grill your vegetables in it, your fish, your steak. <laughs> but, you know, we are famous for pizzas at Spargo, you yeah. know. And I did so many parties. I remember one time I did a big uh, wedding. Yeah. And then uh, we didn't bring pizzas because they said, oh, pizzas is not for it. You know who came in the kitchen? Jay Leno and Mike Douglas. <laughs> and they said, Wolfgang, where are your pizzas? I said, well, they didn't want pizzas. I had to send somebody to Spargo and get <laughs> some pizzas from there. Now oh, look at that here. You guys got to see this. this. See that? <gasps> Now you can make it just like I do it at home. Go really tight in there, guys. Look at the bubbles. Yeah. Look at the beauty. This is a perfect wood oven pizza. Yeah, it's as good as we do at Spargo. Yeah. You know, you can see the crust is nice and uh, brown, and it has good taste, so that is all you need. If you want the darker, lower, whatever you want, you just put it back in here, and that's it. That's and it. it's so easy to put together. This would be an oven you're gonna use all the time. Absolutely. And you know, making pizza at home with the family, with friends, having a glass of wine at the same time, it's a lot of fun. And it's so easy if you have the right oven. Okay, chef, so we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over exactly okay. your choices. Let's go over the offer. It's huge. You get so many goodies in here. So, once again, you have your choice if you wanna get the black or we're talking the stainless steel. They're both stainless steel, but the exterior is all stainless steel or stainless steel black finish. So those are your two options. I love it. You're getting recipes. You're getting a whole bunch of recipes, including um, 10 plus six bonus recipes that Chef has obviously had created for it. Here is your stone. This is really cool. It's reversible. It's got um, kind of a grid on one side and the other side has a glaze to it. You also get the pizza peel with the swivel handle. This is included as well. You saw Chef work with it. He also has thrown in a thermometer down here. So if you are cooking meats, and we're going to talk all about that and fish and more of those other types types of foods, you're going to be able to set the time, the temperature, and even have an alarm on it with the thermometer, and that'll work for any kind of grill you have. And then on top of all of that, you've got a phenomenal, phenomenal value. Right now, we are talking about $60 for the pizza peel. We're talking about $27 extra for the thermometer. Plus, of course, the unit itself is $349. So if you do all the math, it's $437.43, but not today. It's $199. And I will tell you, it is one of the coolest things I've ever been able to present because now you can make the kind of pizza we all crave. We pay a lot of money for, chef. Yeah. We go to special restaurants to have. Exactly. Now you can do it at home, right? I know. At Spago, we charge $28 for one pizza now. And you know what? We cannot keep them uh, in the restaurant. People still come to Spago and say, Wolfgang, we had your shrimp pizza. We had your <laughs> duck sausage pizza or your pepperoni pizza. I remember when I was a kid and people still love. <laughs> What's funny? doesn't like pizza anyway? It was anyway. 1982 and it was yeah. a smoked salmon pizza and you changed everything yeah. when it came to making pizzas in a restaurant which is and really cool. And you know now it's easy. You can get oh my <laughs> apron is leaving me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting undressed so don't worry. <laughs> I don't want you to think it, it is I'm late taking night, my chef. clothes off to make pizzas. <laughs> I mean you could if you want to but <laughs> <laughs> Pizza in the buff, what we're doing. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, okay, let's tie that together. Perfect. There now we I'm going to show you. Look at that. I stretched the dough here. It's so easy. What kind of dough? This is a whole wheat dough. Okay. 
It's a uh, all-purpose flour, so easy. You can buy the box with all the flour in it. You get the yeast in it, you get the instruction, the water, put a little olive oil, and that's it. Okay. So then you can make it the way you want it. I know some people like a lot of tomato sauce. Let's make one of the most traditional one, a pizza margarita. You oh, know, love everybody it. loves pizza margarita. So you so, start with olive oil, right? Olive oil, a little mozzarella fontina for some flavor. Mm. Okay, and then I tell you one thing. I put the tomato sauce on top. Why? Because oh. you get a better crust. Oh, really? So yeah, do so cheese first, yeah. then tomato. Because the, the water in the tomato sauce is going to make the crust a little soggy. So okay. now it's protected. And then I'm going to put some fresh mozzarella. Oh, so, man. so simple. Now, if you want to, you can also put a little pesto on it to get a little extra flavor. And that's it. Look at that. I love pesto. You can put tomato slices on it. Okay, you love pesto, I then do. we I put a little pesto, pesto whatever chef. you like. Well, here we have it. Okay, look at it. It looks like Italy already, almost green, red, and white. <laughs> and look what we did. We're gonna put it in our oven here. Or we can put it in the black one. I didn't use this one yet. Okay. So all you have to do is put your thing in. You get that bottle with it, so you don't have to worry about that. Now I'm gonna close it. You know, this is the perfect gift for somebody. Somebody oh, who's getting yeah. married, somebody who wants to cook at home. Yeah. A lot of people retire, they work at home, you know, they work out of the house. So now you put that in the back, you make your own pizza, it's so much fun. Yeah, and I wanna show you this, Chef. We can go back to show the cold one because I wanna yeah. show you how easy this is to store, how compact it is, and how easy it is to actually set up. Yeah. So literally, it comes in just a couple of pieces. Yeah. They, all the feet are on the bottom. So yeah. all you have to do is... I, I can lift it up here. Thank you. Yeah, see that? As you pop them open, pop them open. Yeah. The front ones, those are the front two. You pop open the back two, or the back one. Yeah. All right. Okay, and here now we it's go. ready to go. And here you have the, the chimney. Okay. You screw it together. It's just one little screw here. Put it in here. And voila, that's it. <laughs> Just get straight. Okay, put there it we straight. go. <laughs> All right. And, and then, then in the back, can you show me? Let me show you what you do. Great. So then you have the fireplace here. So you put your pellets in here. And then we ha you also get with the pellets the little wood chip here. You nestle that right in here. And then. That's the fire starter, right? That's the fire starter. Okay. And then with matches or whatever you have, you light that up. See that? So easy. All right. Almost done. And that's all you have to do. Now you put it in here. And in about 20 minutes, you're going to have a hot pizza oven. Now here's what's amazing. One, it's once oh, it's up to temperature. Oh, yeah. <laughs> once it's up to temperature. Yeah. You get, once it's up to temperature, okay, guys. Look, get look this. in here. Can you look in here? Oh, look at that. Look at my margarita in here. Oh, how happy that's she perfect. is. Look at that. Now, how long did it take you to make this? Because how in the world do you do a portable pizza oven? Well, you know, it's not easy to make something affordable which works well. Now, look, all I have to do now, I turn it around once. You can use a tongue for that if you want. My, okay. I use just my finger. Okay. And we put it back in here. <laughs> That's so cool. For another two minutes. And you can do that at home. Now, practice makes better, obviously. I made thousands of them. <laughs> but, you know, in our restaurant, people always come, they still want pizza. It's, it's so, so cool. interesting. Yeah. Young kids, old kids, whatever they are. <laughs> Everybody, who doesn't love pizza, for gosh sakes? Yeah. Now, remember, this can also do fish. It can do steaks. We're going to show you veggies. It does a whole lot more than just that. But that's just the beginning and the heart and yeah. soul of what Chef has done for all of us. I do want to show you the extra things that are available to go with it. 
it. So here, you saw we everything you're getting. It is a bit. massive discount yeah. off the retail value if you had to put it all together. We do have additional pellets. There's no pellets that come with it. So you want to get pellets. They're relatively, or they're readily available, but I would recommend, of course, chefs. So here's what your choices are. We have what's called the traditional, which is your oak, apple, and charcoal. Then we have what's called the signature, which is the mesquite, hickory, and charcoal. You get a bag of fire starters to go with it. So each of these get a bag of fire starters. So those are your we'll pellets. That's that important. Oh, sure, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at the pizza we just made. Do we get a close up? Where so we get it, here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That looks gorgeous. I mean, in Naples, it's not any better than this one. So <laughs> you can do that at home. And you know what? When you make other people happy, you feel good. Mm -hmm. To me, that's why I love my business so much, the restaurant business. I make so many people happy, but I'm very selfish. It makes me feel good, too. So if you make pizzas at home like that for your friends, for your family, you're going to feel great. Plus, it's so much better to have a homemade pizza. Yeah, totally. And you eat it, you, <laughs> you cook it when you want it. I mean, it's perfect. It. By the way, we have the doughs available. So we did a whole pack of artisan doughs. We also have this incredible cookbook. Marion Mary Getz, who's always with a chef. He's been, he's, she's been with chef for many, many years. This is available. And usually the cookbooks, we haven't done in a while, sell out really, really early. So grab that cookbook as well. Uh, We've got all the information up there for you. And you get the pellets, you get the dough, you get the flour, the mixture, so it tells you exactly how you do it, so it's totally <laughs> foolproof. Chef, can I have some? You can have it. You know what? <laughs> you know how I like it? Yeah, I put show me. What chili do do? flakes on top. <gasps> oh, you're going to kick it up a little yeah, bit, huh? Yeah, I know. All a little right. spicy. Let right. me thank cut you, it for sir. you. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. This is the margarita, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, Be careful, it's ooh. hot, huh? Oh, it is hot, hot. Okay, yeah, we're it's hot out it. of the ooh. oven. You remember that. Mmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Mary, oh, give yeah. me a glass of red wine. I think so. I deserve yeah. it. It's late at night. Oh. Mmm. My land, that is the best pizza I've ever had in my and life. And look at the bottom here. Can you get a close-up? See how beautiful the crust is on the bottom? Oh, my God. Chef, it's so good. Is that good? Look at that. Perfectly cooked. You think this rivals Spago? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, yeah. You're right. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's so same. good. It's so good. Yeah. It, there's nothing better. Oh, my you gosh. Know? The crust is so great. Yeah. The bite to it is so delicious. And it's hot, too. Yeah. Man, that is awesome. Wow. Okay. So, Chef, what do you want to make next? Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to make more pizza, or should we put a steak on? Why don't we put a steak on and show how that works? Okay. One of my favorite things also is vegetables, roasted vegetables, like we have them here. You can see them in an iron skillet. Right. You can get the iron skillet also. Look at that. Roasted peppers. Now, steaks, you need a little olive oil. I have it here. And you can add all different kinds of things in here. Mm. Oh, Both sides, salt and pepper. Okay. All right. You have a little salt and pepper somewhere? If not, we put it on tomorrow. Oh, the red <laughs> wine is here already, ice cold, okay. <laughs> All right. Now look at that. I'm gonna put the steak in the oven. That's so not everybody steak. eats pizza, so you want a great steak. Salt and pepper, if you want, like what I like. Take a little rosemary, put it right in here too. Voila, you get the flavor of it. And then it goes in the oven. And in six minutes, you have, a, oh, there's oh, something. Sorry, I put cobbler in there. Okay. <laughs> oh, Marianne is making yeah. already dessert. What's in here? This is roasted vegetables, but those can go, the steak can go in. Okay, good. Oh, man, look at that. So, Chef, you say six minutes, you're good to go? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's and amazing. We also have something new for you, which is a meat thermometer. So, if you set it on medium rare, let's say, see that here? So, okay, and then you just put it in, how many minutes, I don't know yet, in seconds, so we just reset it. Let's get it to 132 degrees. Okay. So you don't put that in the oven, but you put the thing in there. The probe. The probe, so that way, if you have a nice steak, let me take it out so you can see it. See, if you have a nice steak, like I have here, put it in here, 
and then put the steak in the oven. You close it up here. Yeah. And and now we can just monitor it. Yeah, now you can monitor it. Not awesome. And that's included, by the way, when you get the entire set. Yeah. All right, so what's your favorite pizza in the whole wide world? Okay. <laughs> you know, I have so many favorite ones. It's hard to say one. Okay. Obviously, I think, for me, I like it spicy. So I'm going to make you one which my kids love, too, which is the barbecue chicken pizza. Oh, it's nice. a great way to use leftover pizza. And look, so stretching the dough is very easy. You can also use a rolling pin and just roll it out. So okay. if you think you can do it. But in no time, just put enough semolina or corn flour, whatever you have at home on it, on your table so it doesn't stick. Okay. Okay, and then. Can you toss a pizza? Look at that. You can toss it up to the <laughs> ceiling. Can you do it? Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> I guess anybody can toss a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have the camera here. That was, a pretty, good, that was, a, pretty, that was a pretty good shot, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. All right. So now always put on your pizza paddle, put a little semolina or a little flour on here because you don't want anything to stick. Okay. And the size of pizza we can do. Yeah, so the size of the pizza, so you fit so that it fits in the... About 12 inches. In the oven, yeah. And then we have some chicken, leftover chicken here, a little barbecue sauce. You just mix it well together. That's pretty easy. Yeah, actually, so easy. That's it. great. Yeah. So you have leftover pork, leftover chicken, beef, whatever it is. Mix it with a little barbecue sauce. Then if you want my olive oil, I put it over there now. Okay. Thank you. A little olive oil on here. So you always start each of these with a bit of I olive love oil. the olive oil, it makes a better crust. Okay. And we put some cheese on here. And what was your cheese mixture? This is Fontina and mozzarella. Fontina, okay. Yeah, Fontina has more nutty flavor. Oh, that's and good. mozzarella makes it more chewy. And then you put this chicken on. Okay, sprinkle it on here. And you know what? If you're in the <laughs> south, a southerner like me, I'm from southern Austria, we put <laughs> a little extra barbecue sauce on here. That's that southernness in you. Yeah. I can tell you have that southern accent going. Yep, you know <laughs> one when you see one, huh? <laughs> and maybe we have a few mushrooms, so you could put some onions on here. Where are the, where are the jalapenos? Oh, what? Let me ask you a question. If you wanted to put like peppers and stuff, like bell peppers, bell peppers. like do you have to pre-cook them or can you just toss them on there? Well, if you cut them fine, you can actually just put them on. Okay. Okay. If not, I'm going to show you here. Okay, let me cut it here on the sure. table. It's okay. Marianne will be upset at me, but it doesn't matter. She will never be upset. She will <laughs> always be upset? Never. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Some like it hot, we say. So now we're gonna add a few jalo roasted jalapeno on here, but you can use fresh one and chop them up. Green pepper, bell pepper, whatever it is. And we're gonna put it in the oven. So now you're gonna see in real time, in real time, this was not pre-done or anything. So we're gonna put it in our preheated pizza oven here. Okay, see it's easy, it slides right there. Yeah. And then you close it up. And then walk away, but and not for you, long. Not for long, <laughs> you just get a little sip of wine. And go check it. Literally fresh made pizzas in about 90 seconds. Like that's yeah. really, if it's, it's frozen, by um, the way, if you're really short yeah. on time and frozen, it's four minutes basically to go from completely frozen to finished. Yeah. Yeah. So this is so easy. Do we have, uh, I know we have some vegetarian. Do we have some roasted vegetables somewhere? We were roasting them before. Yeah. Yep. Okay, guys, so let me give you a quick update. What are your choices? This is pretty easy. You have the stainless steel or you have the black. Now, they're both made of stainless steel. It's just got this gorgeous, like almost textured black finish. Right now, the black is the most popular by far of the two choices. I think it looks amazing, actually. Uh, then what are you getting? You're getting the double-sided yeah, stone the that goes with it. Zucchini. You're getting 16 recipes total that Chef has created. And literally, he changed the entire pizza world when he decided to do, in 1982, his first pizza in 
Spago, which is a very fancy restaurant in Beverly Hills. You also get the pool. This is great. So you get the paddle to go with it and you're going to get the thermometer included. This and the thermometer, that's a $60 value. This is another $27 value. That's all literally for a really short amount of time. I want you to think about Father's Day. I want you to think about, as Chef said, somebody getting married. What are you going to get them? It's such a lame gifts out there. Get them their own pizza oven. And you know as well as I darn well do, pizza oven is the best pizza you can ever eat. There's just something about eating pizza oven pizza that makes a huge difference versus just your oven or a stove or what have you. This is the way to go. It's it's going to cook it perfectly. And it does give you a lot of variety. We're doing meats. We've got veggies, veggies here. We're going to do a salmon. Chef's work. We have a cobbler that I know was done a little earlier. Yeah. So chef, I like it because it's not just a pizza I oven. I know. So if you say, okay, we have pizza. Now we finished. Now it's the summertime outside. We get some peaches. We chop them up with a little bit of starch in it, a little bit of uh, sugar, cinnamon, whatever spice you like, yeah. and you're done. It's great. It's a great idea, too. And also, we are going to get to the cast iron pieces, too, coming up in a few minutes. The main cast iron you're seeing us work with mainly is available right now if you'd like to pick it up, and we'll pop an item number up there for you as well. Let's check Ooh. this one out. How are we doing? Ooh, that one. Oh, I, for, I, see, I talked too much already. <laughs> we went over the 90 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is fast. Yeah. You oh, they make a new one. This one, see, when you, when you don't pay attention, that's what happened. <laughs> it cooks it so fast. Okay, let me make one more. Okay, here we have it. What is it about using the pellets and genuine fire well, that make the pizza? Well, the pellets have the wood flavor, so you can have charcoal, hickory, or other things, you know, with yeah. the flavor. So yeah. now look at it. I'm going to make one more because... I was talking too much, so when you do the pizza, you have to do pizza. <laughs> Don't go inside and watch TV or anything. All right, a little, <laughs> a little cheese because it cooks it so fast. It cooks it really fast. And yeah. is also using traditional fire the way you've designed it. Ex is that what makes it puff up so beautifully on the exactly. edges? Exactly, because it cooks it so fast, so that way the yeast rises and you have a delicious, delicious puff. Oh, so that's it. when you know it's an artisanal pizza. When you get the ones from the stores, they all look exactly the same, perfect shape. None of them look like ours here. Right, you're exactly right. They're okay. just beautiful. A few peppers on here. Okay, a little extra barbecue sauce with it. Now, if you want to, you can put a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese on top. It's always good, though. A few mushrooms. Gosh, that looks great. If you want a little extra, some sausage, some leftover sausage we have here. Ooh, but it's going to be, be a luxury too. pizza. Look at that. <laughs> Chicken, sausage. That's a deluxe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, don't let me forget it. I won't. Okay, maybe. We should, we should put the uh, timer on so we I won't know, forget we it, timer, right? Yeah. That's why you need the thermometer with it, so you can put that darn timer on. How is my steak <laughs> coming, Greg? It's good, but your scampi is ready right here. Okay. And then the, the steak has another minute. Okay, perfect. Probably. So shrimp scampi, hello. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hello. It's amazing. <gasps> oh, look at that yeah. egg. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. It's bubbling. Yeah. Gosh, that's With the garlic powder, the lemon, and everything. Three minutes? Yeah. Dang, that's really fast. Can you guys see that? Ooh, Let me see it smoking. Hot. Oh, chef, it smells so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just do me a favor. If you're thinking about picking this up, I always recommend do midnight. Uh, I love lunch with Chef because this is going to be and is so popular. And it's so different. You know, it's not the normal gift. It's something that's going to make your summer evenings really fun. You can take this virtually definitely. anywhere. This if you're going camping, if you're having a family reunion, if you'd love to picnic, if it's in the backyard, you know, if you're outdoors on your balcony, on your patio, now you're going to have a wood oven pizza, literally a wood oven pizza. And I love it, Chef, because you've thought of everything. Yeah. It's fast, it's quick. You can know your own ingredients, which I know you love that. You're yeah. actually cooking healthier because you know exactly. what you're putting in. Exactly, you know what you put in. You can buy our box with all the flour and the yeast and everything, so you can make this thing really perfectly. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. It's coming already, another minute we turn it and then we are done. You know what's really fun is looking in there to see it. No, no. <laughs> you can see the, the fire in here. What do you Look got over that. here? See that? 
You gotta come look at your steak. It's not, it still hasn't beeped yet, but it's beautiful. Does it look good? It's at, um, <laughs> you can hear it. I know. So 111, it's headed for 132. 132. 132. Okay. Can you hear it? Oh, that. yeah. Wow. Can Look you see it? That. You got it? Oh, for gosh sakes. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. We're going to shoot all right, it. All right, and add a little more rosemary. We need a little yeah. extra flavor. Oh, that's great. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. That now, looks really, what really is good. the temperature now? Uh, it doesn't say, it hasn't beeped yet. 114. So you're rare if you want it. Okay, I think a little more. Okay. All right. <laughs> all okay, right, so close. look at the pizza here. That's so cool. So it starts to brown here. Yep. I'm gonna turn it around and put it back in here. Yeah, and you know what, are any of these still really hot? Because I want to cut another one open, because you all need to see. The ooey gooey fun of this is just exceptional. Here's a pepperoni one here. Let me yeah. grab that real quick. Oh, oh, yeah, can I do? Upsell, yeah. Oh, perfect, great. Oh, perfect, thank you. Okay, by the way, we also have this, which is the pizza platter, and it comes with the pizza cutting knife, obviously. But look at this, you guys, too. I mean, come on. This has got to make your mouth water. Think about how much fun the summer's going to be. All those great yeah. events. You have people coming over. Look at look how beautiful. Chef, look at the camera. Look at the, the screen. Yeah. That is a beautiful wow. pizza. Oh, um, amazing. You pay, people pay a fortune in restaurants to yeah. get wood oven pizza. You, I think you make 10 pizzas, you pay for the machine. You know, that is a great point. Yeah. You're absolutely right. But look at that. I mean, all that mozzarella, all that yeah. delicious cheese. It's, no, wait, I also want you to see the crust. Look at this part of the crust right here. That, you, we live for these kind of puffiness in the crust. And look at how fluffy Ooh. and beautiful this is. It's not dense. You can see it's not greasy and oily whatsoever. That is a beautiful pizza experience. And then remember, oh, look at that. Look at that dough. Now, that's that artisan dough that's available right now. If you want to pick the artisan dough up, you can do that too. But here's my best advice. Because because we're really busy, I would go to hsn.com. It's the way to get this while we have it available. Yeah. By the way, the size is so manageable. If you live on your own, please don't worry about it. I even followed the instructions. We're like, oh, I can totally do this. And my husband does all the grilling. Yeah. But you know, Chef, you've made this so easy. Uh, I'm totally. very confident by myself that I could absolutely yeah. use this system. It's you, not intimidating. So you can see perfectly Strong. brown. So what you do is you turn it around once. Because the fire is in the back, so it always has the harder part is in the back. So okay. that way you get totally even cooking. And as you could see, I just put it in in a little while ago. Now, we forgot to talk to you also about the stone in here. Mm -hmm. So you can see it has two sides. This is for grilling. You can put your steak, your lamb chop, your pork chop, your fish on here, non-steak. And on this side is the pizza stone. Pizza. So you don't have to buy an extra pizza stone. Now, you can, if you don't use your pizza oven, you can put it in your oven and bake on it in your oh, oven true. in the kitchen. And the pizza stone makes a huge difference. Yeah, totally. I mean, people spend a fortune on just pizza stones yeah. for their oven, and it's in no way gonna work like this one does. Is the steak ready? Oh, the steak yay. And, and my barbecue <laughs> pizza. Let me get out of the way. Huh? <laughs> All right, the you pizza know what? These too. are all done so fast. It's actually really hard to keep up with them. <laughs> Where's the steak? Okay, let's yeah. go to the steak. It's At ready. home, it's going to be really easy. All right. <laughs> oh, there it goes. There goes the timer. And hey, guy. Look at that. Should I put a towel here? Sure. Put the thermometer. Take out the thermometer. It's too hot to touch. Yeah. Now, <laughs> let me tell you, when you cook a steak at home, always let it rest a little bit. Oh, my pizza, I forgot my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we cut that close on that one. <laughs> Remember, it's 90 sec seconds that. for a fresh pizza. <laughs> 90 Here seconds. There we go. Can you guys wow. see that? See That's that? the everything pizza. Yeah. Is there anything in here? Oh, look at that, chef. Oh. oh. Didn't that make your <coughs> mouth water, guys? Papa John never had it like that. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That yeah. is true. Andre goes to work there. Well, you know what's really Did you really? 
You did? Oh my gosh, you're a pizza guy from way back. And Chef, you know what I love is the fact that you really were the GOAT, the greatest of all time when it comes to actually introducing pizzas into restaurants. Yeah. And literally from what he did being such an originator and such a incredible chef is he had a, you know, a vision of where it could be. Pizzas don't have to be just a sort of little whatever. They can be really amazing. Yeah. What he's done so brilliantly is now we can do it ourselves. And it is exactly like you get in the nicest restaurants that serve beautiful, you know, brick oven pizzas. That's exactly what you're getting when yeah. you pick this up tonight. Use our flex pay. We have five flex pays. If you have a major credit card, it's $50 or $40. $40 to get it home. You pay it off in five oh. months. It comes right away. Please think Father's Day. Think that great gift idea. I know. We're going to show you more ideas and I've got to find a glass of wine here in a second. <laughs> I know. Uh, you know what? You are out there on your patio or wherever around the pool. You put on the pizza oven. You open a bottle of red wine, white wine, or if you like beer like Greg does you drink yeah. beer <laughs> and then uh, you enjoy the afternoon yeah. and you know cooking is fun if you know you can do such a nice job and you know you get a hundred percent perfect pizzas all the time right. better than anything you will buy any takeout whatever because they all use terrible ingredients you know when you buy them because it's not what you have at home if you have a garden you go to the farmers market pick up vegetables look at it uh, Marianne already roasted some onions and some peppers here so you can put that in before you make pizzas if yeah. you if well, you know what we do, guys? We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll come back. We're going to show you salmon and a whole bunch more. Hey, don't forget to visit hsn.com because you see Chef's entire collection. We're celebrating his 25th anniversary. It is a huge celebration. We have up to 25% off, so check out all the deals. Also, by the way, he's got the most amazing meats on there, too. We've got a lot in store, so stay tuned as we continue to celebrate Chef Wolfgang Puck. I'm Taraji P. Henson, and I'm so excited to share my brand, TPH, with the HSN audience. Customers can expect scalp care, hair care is self care. They can expect an experience with TPH. You should still feel very expensive and luxurious. Join award winning actress Taraji P. Henson and discover TPH by Taraji, April 26th and 27th, only on HSN. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. HSN Deal is a great value that we bring to you every day. Thanks to our long and valued partnerships with the brands you love most, we are able to offer amazing products at great values. Shop the HSN Deal with confidence from us to you. Sun's out, fun's out. And HSN has the summer style sneak peek you've been waiting for. Your first look at summer ready fashions and accessories. Tune in to our summer style sneak peek only on HSN. Welcome to HSN. I'm Suzanne Runyon. Of course, a chef, world acclaimed chef Wolfgang Puck is with me. 25 years I here know, on HSN. Amazing. I love this man and so finally much. Finally, I brought you a pizza oven. You know, Spago became famous because we made all these pizzas, you know. Mm -hmm. Everything from scratch with farmer's market, the ingredients and everything. Yeah. So you know it tasted right. And if you don't have tomato sauce, make a little pesto. Basil leaf, a little garlic, a little olive oil. Put it in a blender or chop it finely. Put it on and you're going to have great flavors. I mean, so, I love white pizzas. I love red pizzas. Yeah. I love it. pizza. Anybody can get it. Chef, I want to show a couple things you were working on here. Number one, guys, again, you've got to see, we had that delicious everything pizza we just did. We've got a margarita pizza. Here's a pepperoni. This is a white sort of cheesy pizza. We've yeah. got shrimp scampi. We've got tons of vegetables. Okay. We did it. You did a steak. I did wow. a steak. <laughs> now I'm going to put in the salmon. I'm just going to put in a little bit of olive oil with some asparagus, roast it all together. I like to add herbs to my thing, so let's add a little basil in here so you get a little extra flavor. And all we have to do is put it right in here. And how long do you think that'll take approximately? It's gotta be quick. Yeah. Three minutes? Okay, three minutes. <laughs> it, it really depends on how you are 
how you like it, you know, if you like it really well done or you like it medium rare like me. So Got it. Okay. up to you. So let's kind of start in the beginning, Chef, because a lot yeah. of people are channel surfing. Uh, first time ever, never have we done a pizza oven. It is so easy. You just use pellets and the pellets yeah. are available. Plus the pea dough Chef's working with tonight yeah. is available as well if you yeah. want to pick that uh, up. Look at that steak. Look, oh. how ch look how juicy the steak is. Can you oh see? Yes, Chef, that is. Even Marianne likes it medium well. I like it medium rare, but you know, still you can see, look at that, how juicy it is. See that? Good. And the right. outside's and perfect. And the outside is nice and crispy, so you can get a better steak. That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then, you know, you can roast vegetables in it, roast potatoes in there. You decide what you want to do, and you will have a meal as good as any good restaurant. Yeah. I have to try. She says I have to try it, too. It's got a little, well, because of the wood pellets, right? All right. Well, twist my arm, Mary. <laughs> 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 yes, I will try it. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Oh, for gosh sakes. <laughs> Holy moly. Isn't that good? Woo, that is delicious. And that was a thick steak, too. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm. All right, Chef. Let's go from the beginning, kind of talk about what you did, how'd you make it, kind of the story behind it, if okay. you don't mind. Now, you can see it's famous. Spargo is famous because of the wood-burning pizza. We have a wood-burning grill also. So you preheat the oven. And then you just put in your pizzas, and look what you get. Mm. <laughs> mm. Look at that. Bubbling hot pizza. It's, it is out of this world. Look at the bubble. Can you guys see it bubbling? Yeah. Gosh, that's gorgeous. And it cooks on the bottom, on the, on the top. You know, you can look, look, it's so hot, but I cut you a little piece in a second. I don't want you to get burned. <laughs> I don't either. Okay. So now I let, let me show you what we have. So not only you get the whole pizza oven here, with the pizza stone, with the grill, but you also get the pizza bottle, which is really an important part. And what else do we get? The, the thermometer. Oh, the thermometer, yeah. The thermometer. Therm how do you say it? Therm thermometer. Thermometer, <laughs> okay. Thermometer. The temperature thing. <laughs> the temperature thing. When you cook your steaks, your meat, your roast, whatever. And you can use the, the thermometer for anything else, too. You know, if you bake something, you roast something, whenever you don't use the pizza oven. What? Now, so, it's easy to operate, too. And the, the thing we love, it completely collapses down. The legs yeah. slip down. This actually comes completely yeah, out, and it, it out. collapses down. Yeah. So if you're thinking, oh, my goodness, it's about the size of our microwave, but not as tall. Yeah. So the length of it, it's really compact, and yet you get this incredible heat. You can make from fresh a pizza in about 90 seconds and from frozen in about yeah. four minutes. And let me show you how easy it is. If you get the pellet... We have different flavors, mesquite, charcoal, hickory, so you have different flavors. So you put them in here in the drawer. That's in the back of your oven. Put the pellets in here. This is just compressed wood. And then with it, you get the kindle here. So you put one of these in here, nestle it in here. And then with the lighter or with a little paper, whatever you have, you Turn that on, and look at it, how fast it goes. That's so easy. It's so easy, so you start that out, and then all you have to do is put it in the oven, and that's it. And then, as soon as it starts really burning, you add a little bit more of the pellets, and that's it. Yeah, and the nice part about it is that you add the more pellets in that little hole right there on yeah. the top. You don't have to take it out. You put it right in here. To kind of keep filling yeah. it up if you need more. Yeah. And here's what's amazing. In about 15, 20 minutes, this, can, this comes up to about 900 degrees. And that's why when you put the pizza in fresh, it's yeah. 90 seconds and it's done. So don't walk away too far. Yeah. Only have a sip of your wine that, or beer. I know, that's the thing. You ha when you make <laughs> pizza like that, you, it's good to have a glass of wine, but don't drink too much because <laughs> that cooks so fast. And look, the dough, if you get our flour mixture with the yeast and everything, look how easy it is to stretch it out and then you make your pizza. Put a little, always put a little flour on here. I use semolina, why? Because I'm a little allergic to flour, so I don't want to start crying. And you can use cornmeal as well, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, very good. 
And okay. by the way, there is the uh, the um, pizza dough is on the side of your screen. It's available as well. So that's awesome. In fact, with the pizza dough, you're getting, yeah, you can get auto ship every 60 days. You're going to get four mixed packs that come with the collection that we're offering tonight for $39.99. Ask about the auto ship because you can lock in tonight's price and it'll keep coming every 60 days, but you can slow it down. And chef, you know what? I don't know a soul in the world who doesn't love pizza. Yeah. I mean, have Everybody. you ever met anybody who just goes, I hate pizza? Yeah, it's so fun. <laughs> you know, when I'm at home with my kids, we make it at home. Mm -hmm. The kids love to play with it. And everybody likes different flavors, different things. Like I like mine spicy, so mm -hmm. I make it simple. Put tomato slices if you get good tomatoes. And then what I like, I put a little jalapenos on top. Mm -hmm. Slice some jalapenos. Look at that. This is my Mexicana. It's not Margarita, La Rena. What, what is the queen of uh, Mexico with jalapenos? Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? So, oh my God, take it out, Marianne, don't let it burn. <laughs> oh, Dag, that looks really good. Oh, Look at that. good. All right. <gasps> Listen. <laughs> Just the sound alone is it's so good. good right? <laughs> and you want a smoky taste, Suzanne? Yeah. Oh, because the pellets it's are actually so adding good. to the taste, right? Exactly. That's they have great. the wood flavor. So yeah, all the charcoal heat. flavor. And huh? it's a high heat that you don't have in the kitchen. Yeah. You have it in a professional kitchen, but this is one of the first times you've been able to get that huge well, amount of heat. You know what I ate the steak and the pizza? It's just wildly different than just sticking something in an oven. Yeah. No, or, no or even on a traditional grill. It doesn't taste anything like either one of those. And yeah. I think the cool thing is, is you ever wanted to have a pizza oven? Like everybody kind of does, but usually it's for the very elite who have fancy homes and big patios and, oh yeah, I have a built-in pizza oven. Now you and I can both have one. This is the most affordable way to do it. We've never done anything like this before. And it's the only time this year we will even do a pizza oven. So here's a really unique opportunity. Yeah. You know you know how many people that you know personally and I know love to grill out. Yeah. Wouldn't this be a great gift for somebody who's like the grill master out you there? You know, if you're a grill master, you have your grill already and you put that, you have a perfect outdoor kitchen. And then, you know, you might grill a lot of stuff, but at the end of the day, everybody will jump on the pizza. Totally. The it's yeah. totally at home. <laughs> I know when I do parties, if we bring out our pizza for the Oscars, we had to make pizzas. Everybody is dressed in the most elegant outfits, <laughs> but they all eat pizzas. And sometimes the simpler one, the better. Now, naturally, may make one with smoked salmon also, and dill cream and caviar and everything. But mm. if you don't want to go so fancy, a great margarita pizza, a little spicy, is just as good. Or use mm. some good sausage meat. So, or leftover chicken, barbecue, put a little barbecue sauce and you're done. So there are so many options and it's so easy. So if you think you have a problem, for example, of stretching it, like you saw me stretching it, then just use a rolling pin. Well, it doesn't look too hard. No, it's so easy. Just turn it a little bit. See that? Just make it nice and round up, put a little flour on top so it doesn't stick. Okay. Voila. How is the pizza in the oven? Don't, let's not forget it. Do we have, I don't know which one I'm watching now. Yes, sir. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere it yes, is. Yes, we might. Let me look at this one. Oh, yeah, this one. This is the one we're looking at right here. It's still looking unbelievable. Looking good. Gosh, you, you guys, it's so, so uh, good. I'm going to flip it. First okay, thing. that's for Margarita, our assistant over there. Uh, we make you, because she's from Mexico, so we're going to make you one with jalapeno, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is so clever. I l imagine how much fun it's going to be when you've got the gang over, or it's the family, or the grandkids, or whoever, and then all of a sudden, look, I can even do it, Marion. Look at this. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> look. Ah, there I am. Nice. I'm a professional chef now. Yeah. Uh, but here's what I love about this, guys, is like, think about the family get-togethers. Think about the Sundays, or maybe it's Saturday, and people are coming over. Maybe it's the football game. Maybe you're watching baseball on TV. Can you, know, do you know you will be the talk of the neighborhood when you have your own pizza oven? Like we only eat pizza oven pizza when we go to really nice restaurants or somewhere where they have a pizza oven. Those ovens cost thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, I love what Chef's done. He said, wait, why don't I bring one of the things that he's so famous for and bring it to your home? And I will tell you by eating the steak and I had some shrimp and eating the pizza, 
What you do inside here is dramatically different in taste and texture than anything you do in the oven and anything you do in the grill. I will guarantee you that. I have never tasted better pizza than what chef's making tonight, and you don't have to be a chef to do that. We've got the black. Now, let me give you an update on the black. By far, it's outselling the stainless steel. Now, they're both beautiful quality, durable stainless steel. Remember, this collapses all the way down, so it's really compact. And notice, too, as a matter of fact, watch. I'll pick up the whole thing for you. I can move this entire pizza oven okay and you're getting results that are better than you can get at a restaurant it's going to cost a lot less i love what chef too said to make 10 pizzas out of here and guess what you've already paid for this and you're using it for years and years and years to come now remember in our exclusive configuration you're getting the stone that goes with it it's double sided so you can put all your grilled stuff on one side on the glaze side you put your pizzas on it and by the way that will get stained and it's supposed to that's how it works with pizza stones you're going to get 16 recipes that are exclusive chef has curated them from his own recipes just for you. They're absolutely out of this world. You get the thermometer that's included with it. That's a $27 upgrade. The pizza stone is a $60 upgrade. And all of this, plus you're getting the paddle to go with it, which collapses as well. All of that you have for a really short amount of time. And look at the savings, you guys. You would spend just for the pizza oven $349. So we're well below that. Right now, the total is $437.43 if you had to buy it all separately. We are three or $237 off retail. And this is gonna be one of the best investments you can make to create memorable times for you, your family, for your friends, for whoever eats in your life. Everybody loves making pizzas and now you can do it in such a fun and by the way, delicious, delicious results. And Chef, I thank you very much for yeah. that because usually this is kind of rarefied air. Yeah. I know you have a pizza oven at your house. Yeah. <laughs> I dare ask how much it costs to install it. I don't want to know. Right. And you even told me there's now, you so- You know, it takes five hours to heat it up. It does not. So if I, yeah, because it's, <laughs> uh, it has a thick cement floor and everything, you know, so it takes forever to oh, heat it up. Oh, good Lord. Yeah. Five hours versus. I should versus... have put gas in it too to help it to go faster. But by the time I built the fire and everything with this one, we had lunch already. And the <laughs> other one, I have to start at eight in the morning if I do lunch. Oh, geez. And think about it. 15 minutes later, this is ready to go. Yeah. And you have pizza, fresh pizza in 90 seconds, basically. If you're doing your meats, your sandwiches, you're doing yeah. your vegetables. We did a cobbler inside here, which is super cool. So imagine doing desserts inside here. I you're know, just especially kind of at the end, you let the fire go down slowly. You put your cobbler in it, or yeah. you put some vegetables left over in it, and you have it in a salad. Ooh, let's see this one. All right, this is his latest creation right here. So let me see. I'm going to show you guys. Look at this. We had to let it cool down because it gets mighty hot. I'll tell you that. But look at look at that. Look at the guys. Look at it. Look at that, look at that, look at that, how pretty that is. Oh, oh my God. And the look. whole crew is salivating uh, right now, yeah. Chef. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think I'm going to have to cook for everybody a pizza now. <laughs> look what we have here in the oven. Can you look yeah. in here oh. before I forget it sure. again? Sure, sure. <gasps> look at that. Oh, that's your that's your uh, jalapeno pizza. Me Mexicana mm. pizza, yeah. That's for... Mm. for wow, Chef. Margarita. Margarita. Mm-mm. All right, another minute and we are done. So you really have to watch it when you put it in, you know, because this is hot. Mm. You know, it's just like any big wood-burning oven. All right. Margarita, come here. Yeah, come here. Come on. Trust me, the crew would like to run out. Everybody's back there going, please, someone. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys want some pizza? You want a piece of pizza? You come out. Heck, I'll give you, we got so much pizza up here. Come on, we'll feed everybody. Okay. Come on. She is so shy. She goes, hi, darling. <laughs> okay, Marga Margarita helps us all day long, so we have to feed you, okay? Okay, here so we go. So now, so you have Aww. the pizza. See, this is for you. <laughs> I'm going to go over and feed the crew, too. They've been patient. They've been out here in Look this heat that. with us. A little jalapeno, tomatoes, and everything. Yeah. All right. See that? Ooh, you got to let it cool down, though, girl. I'll tell you, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm feeding the crew, chef. Here we okay. go. I'm going to go over this way. Come on, guys. You got to come out. Come on. I know you guys are all dying for this. <laughs> don't be shy. I don't have a napkin, so sorry. I just have to go with it. This is the ultimate pizza. Wait, you guys are going to get We got to see your faces. Come on, come on, come on. Because you guys got to show the reaction once you eat it. Okay, tell me, tell me if it's not the best pizza you've ever had in your life. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't yeah. the cr the crust is amazing, isn't it? Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Isn't that oh. great? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Anybody else miss anything? Oh, man, he's working. Yeah. You can't get a piece, Josh. Sorry, buddy. Like, look, they're all going, yeah, I can't answer because it's too good. Wow, just chef, it's, this, this is the life of the party. This is fun. This is what eating is all about, isn't it? And you know, you can make it with your family. You can make it with your friends. It is amazing. It really is. Yeah. Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, Marianne is making us a tandoori chicken, skewers. Mmm, chef, this sausage and stuff is so good. Yeah, look at that. Mmm, mmm. Oh, let me get this over here. You know, let me get my stuff out of the way, Joe. You sure? Yeah. Now, what is that? Is it curry? Tandoori, yeah, so like yogurt and then the curry kind of spices. Oh, nice. Savory spices and then chicken breast. And then Ooh, look just at put that. It on skewers, and that took four minutes. And you just put it in the cast yeah, iron, right? In the cast iron. Four minutes for that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good too. Mm. Oh, chef, guys, you smell that curry. That is beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here, guys. Let me repeat what you're getting because we're about to run out of time in this first presentation. It's your choice. We've got the stainless, they're both stainless steel, super durable, gonna last you for years and years. What I really like about it, I wanna show you this again, is I can pick it up and move this thing. Obviously, when it cools down, look at this. Now, I'm, I'm not strong, needless to say, but I want you to see it's not unmanageable. The legs absolutely collapse in. The actual stove top, the stove pipe, it pulls out completely. Completely. And so it all stores really nice and compact. So the black is the most popular, by the way, right now. Also, even the handle goes down flat. So if you want to take this and you're going to put it in the garage or maybe you're going to stick it in your kitchen somewhere, all this is going to come in, come down, and this, these are going to flatten down. And you really have a very compact design, which is super brilliant about this. You get the stone. That's a $60 value to go with it. Below here, you get the thermometer. That's a $27 value. 16 gorgeous recipes. You get the paddle to go with it as well. Now, here's what I would do if I were at home. If you have somebody who's just like, loves to grill, loves to cook, is a real foodie, they're, if they have a birthday coming up, Father's Day, Mother's Day, they're gonna squeal. If you've got anybody getting married, don't give them a dumb, dumb gift. Can you imagine if you give them their own pizza oven? And this is the kind of results that we only get at those really good places that we drive for and spend a fortune on a piece of pizza. Now you can do it your ingredients, your way. You can make it as healthy as you want. You can do all the extra things like we did the chicken and the salmon and the cobbler. We've got the steaks, we've got veggies, we've got a shrimp dish over here. Plus, of course, you've got just incredible, incredible pizza, and now you have the ability to do it yourself. Yep. And you know, Chef, I love that it's not wood, it's not difficult, the pellets are as easy as yeah, can be. Yeah, they heat up really fast, mm -hmm. so it doesn't take forever, it doesn't gonna get wet somewhere outside if you store it somewhere, so this is perfect. i show you one more time, I stretch the dough, you get some cheese, some mo mozzarella, a little fontino, or just mozzarella, you know, you decide. And one of the good things what I always do is I don't put the tomato sauce on the bottom, I put it on top. And by the way, if you want the dough, artisan dough, Chef has created exclusively yeah. for our today's special. We also have the pellets available. You don't get the pellets with it, but we've got two different three packs that also come with the starter sticks. Those are available. We have traditional, and we have the other one, which we are now calling the signature collection. So make sure and grab the pellets, because you want to give the whole gift all at once. And Chef, you just yeah. imagine the memories you'll make. I mean, how many people do you have come to your place? And they have such a great time yeah. when you're out there making these pizzas. I know. You know, if you make it at home, it's unbelievable. Everybody wants to have a pizza oven in their house when they come and say, when I build my house, the first thing is I'm going to build a pizza oven. <laughs> and you know, if you have a big property and you have a lot of money, well, then you Good can do you. it. Good for you. But then uh, if you just are a regular person, you know, <laughs> you're not a billionaire, us. you're not <laughs> Jeff Bezos or somebody like that, then... <laughs> Yeah, then there's the rest of us. But again, you yeah. get those results. I mean, did you hear what Chef said? His pizza oven takes logs and five hours to heat up. Yeah. This heats up in 15 minutes. You can have a pizza done in 90 seconds fresh or four minutes if it's frozen. You don't try to make it. You can always do a frozen in here. But there's nothing else out there like it. We're so proud to celebrate Chef's 25th anniversary with us. And Chef, I know you're always so passionate about sharing your love of food yeah. with everybody. And thank you for making this affordable for the rest of us. I know. I think what is the best thing is now you can make a restaurant quality pizza in your own home, you know? Yep. 
Yeah. I think, and it's so easy, and you will learn how to stretch it. Look how easy it is. Just put the two thumbs together and you move it back and forth. And then, with the back of your hand, you stretch it. I mean, you know what? In no time at home, you will make pizza just like I do. This is so simple. <laughs> it is really easy. Yeah. It's surprisingly easy, actually. Yeah. It's not intimidating at all. And now you've got the pizza. I'm going to make it happen as well. Yeah, totally. I want to... Yes. Yeah, I he, we made on he's it. He's on it. He's on it. He's yeah. doing it. Yeah, we made <laughs> yeah, it. We made it. Not everybody's as great as him. That's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> hey, guys, by the way, if you want to, I do want to explain Five Flex. If you want to get this home for $40, you can do it with our Five Flex. It's a major credit card. You pay it off in five months. You get it right away. We also, and I love it, the shipping's a little over five bucks, which is amazing. It's a nice, big, healthy, happy box. Yeah. And if you get our HSN card right now, this is just for this weekend, you can save an additional $40 off anything you buy but boy wouldn't that be nice to put it towards the today special yeah. so take advantage of that and get our card and use it I instantly no and you know what is great for pizza too using all the leftovers like yeah. a breakfast sausage here and i'm just gonna put a little barbecue sauce on here nice. and you if you like it spicy you put on a little spice a little jalapeno chili flakes whatever it is or put on a few roasted vegetables here well, Chef, you know what you had earlier was um, that leftover chicken. Exactly. It's so easy. Yeah, or a hamburger. Had a leftover what sausage? if you had a leftover hamburger? Yeah. Well, how awesome would exactly. that be, right? Yep. That'd be great. And think of all the pizzas that you love out there. I mean, what's your favorite? Ooh, um, I love white pizzas. I think white pizzas are amazing. Chef, you know the other day my husband and I ordered pizza. Yeah. Not even close to how good this is. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, it was probably, we got one pizza, and I bet you by the time it was delivered, we're talking about 30-some dollars. Yeah, and then you give the guy a tip or whatever, right. you know. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. And it's not even as good, yeah. not even close to as delicious as this is. So get it at home, stop ordering in the pizzas. You don't wanna do that anymore. Don't go through the drive throughs yeah. Make your own homemade pizza, and you're doing it fast. Yeah. I think that chef is really key to this as well. It exactly. doesn't take long. Yeah. Look at that one. I, I stuck mine a little bit on my board, so <laughs> it's not perfectly shaped, but you know, the taste will be good. That taste will be perfect. And you know what, that's probably what mine would be like. Whoop, exactly, whoop, oh, I didn't. Close it up, all right. There Good. we go. Perfect. Yeah, how awesome is this, guys, right? It's fun, you'll get the whole gang together, even if you're doing it by yourself. Please don't be intimidated. Eat. Yeah. And I hate to say it, I'm not all that great in the kitchen. I can do this, I can yeah. do, and you can do it with you real know, confidence, too. Absolutely, and in no time, you're gonna be a great pizza maker, and everybody gonna tell you, why you don't <laughs> open a restaurant like Wolfgang? Open another Spargo <laughs> in your town. That's what you need. Don't be do it, we don't Spargo. need more competition, but you can do it for your your family at home. <laughs> Just don't do it in Beverly Hills. Uh, yeah, and you know, it's always great for a holiday. Whenever it is, for the 4th of July, you make pizzas and people line up. Did Margarita get her pizza? Did she? It's, um, guys, I want to show you this one more time. You ready? Okay, here's a moment. Now, I know it's 12.57 here on the East Coast. How many of you are home right now, and you were thinking, oh, I'm going to just order some pizza. Don't you dare do it. Can you imagine? You could have this in your back patio, wherever, outside, and you could literally go out there right now at 12.57 East Coast time. You could have a pizza, a homemade pizza made in 90 okay. seconds. Whoa, oh, look at that one. What was that one? Wait, let me slide some oh, It's over. like a margarita Ooh. style pizza, too. Oh, okay, got it. Now, can you imagine getting a hang room for a piece of pizza? Or a pizza? Yeah. A brick, like a brick oven or wood style, wood stove style pizza, and you can have it heated up in 15, 15 minutes and done in 90 seconds. Yeah. How fun is that? You don't have to wait anymore. <laughs> I love that. Oh, look at that, you guys. Table. I, I know. know. We, we could use a table like 10 times this size. <laughs> now, look at that. I'm going to turn this one over. Now, look at that. That's what I, I show you. You know, often you get a pizza, but look at the other side. See how, how perfect the crust is? Perfect. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. And the crust puffs. And I put extra cheese on it. Oh, and the crust just puffs so perfectly, yeah. you guys. Again, what's your favorite style? What kind of pizza do you like? If you like white pizza, great. You want a good old vegetable spinach pizza, great. Yeah. If or you want to put the... plain cheese pizza. Oh, cheese. Yeah, how great plain is that? Che you know how many people just like plain cheese pizza? Yeah. I can tell you, or prosciutto pizza, or anything like that. You That'd know, awesome. so you can do it at home. 
But also, Chef, you know, I want you to know he did a really, really big steak in about yeah. six minutes. The salmon was three. The chicken was just a couple of minutes. The shrimp was three yeah. minutes. We've got roasted veggies over here. We've got a bunch of roasted peppers here. Yeah. And we've got a cobbler up front. So, uh, Chef, you know, this is really cool, guys, because you're not just, oh, I got to make pizzas all the time. Why should I buy it? No. You'll get it, and very quickly, you're going to be making tons exactly. of different food. Exactly. If you want to do outside cooking, you don't even want to light up your grill. You just light up the pizza oven and pop it in. Get your little iron skillet, or if you have one at home, put it in there. You can roast in it. You can make anything you really want there. Oh. And it's gonna taste amazing. All right, guys, so let me give you a quick couple updates. If you want the pellets, again, we do not give you the pellets with the pizza um, oven. So you wanna get the pellets. It's uh, three bags and you're choosing traditional or you're doing this, excuse me, signature. And you get the fire sticks to go along with it for the starter. We also have the skillet we're actually gonna talk about here in just a minute. We also have your pizza plate with the cutter. And I love the pizza oven book. Marion did the book. It is 112 pages. It's gonna show you all these amazing here is meat uh, chimichurra lamb so you did lamb lamb chops right so again this book or cookbook is going to take this to an entirely different level when you're using it here is the vietnamese pork chops that are inside here